Podcasts. Their popularity has gone through the roof. They're convenient, they create a sense of community, and there's something to bore other people about at dinner parties. They have an intimacy to them, and they can be as long or as short as you like, or as the subject requires. If you're an artist thinking about starting your own podcast, but you're not sure how to do it, then grab your microphones and come with us. So, what do you want your podcast to be about? First up, define the idea or concept of your podcast and set some goals for it. What do you want your listeners to come away from it with? Do you want it to be informative, conversational, themed, a showcase of your work? Figure out what makes you the best person to make this podcast or talk about this particular issue. Will it be a weekly series or one-off episodes? Some podcasts are conceived of as seasons of five to 10 episodes that will look at a subject in depth. Will you have expert guests or your beguiling friends? Who's your podcast for? Clearly define your podcast and audience upfront and you'll have a better idea of how much work it'll take and what the tone will be and you can start to plan. Do some research on the most popular podcasts on the same topic and see what makes them so captivating and what will make yours unique. Once you've decided on an idea that will make your podcast stand out, write a neat overview of it, like a headline of a magazine article. That way, potential listeners will click on it and know, to some extent, what to expect. Not all podcasts are scripted. Conversational ones can just be a couple of mates talking but it's worth drawing up an outline, even for casual podcasts. You might decide on a series of conversation topics to go through in the episode. If you're going for more of a journalistic style, you might record interviews, which you'll then intercut with a voiceover to thread together a story. Once you've mapped out a plan for your podcast, how do you actually, you know, make it? Well. You can make a basic podcast using nothing more than the recording apps on your phone. Apps like GarageBand or even just your phone's voice memos are a good starting place. And don't forget everyone's COVID bestie Zoom video conferencing if you want to record with people in other cities. Squadcast and Zencaster are other options if you can't be in the same room with people. Make sure you choose a good, quiet place to record. You'd be surprised how noisy so-called quiet places can be when you're trying to record something. If you want to ramp up the quality of your smartphone recordings, you can use an external microphone which plugs into your phone or laptop and maximizes sound quality. These can be handy for eliminating those ambient noises. If you want to get a more professional sound, think about buying a separate digital recorder, like a Zoom, not to be confused with the video conferencing app, or Tascam. They're great for field recording or interviews on the go and will give you much better quality without competing with your photos for storage on your phone. And if you really want to sound exceptional, a good quality handheld microphone will give you an even clearer sound. If it's studio polish you're after, you can rent a podcast studio, like the ones available at the State Library of Victoria for super professional recordings. Once you've recorded your episode, you'll want to spend some time editing the recording. Maybe you fluffed the line a couple of times, some sections went on too long, or maybe you want to mix different sounds together. Software like GarageBand, Hindenburg, Reaper, or Pro Tools lets you move and adjust your audio, turning raw recordings into something more clean or deliberate. If you want to add some music, try supporting a fellow artist by licensing some music from APRA Amcos. If the budget won't stretch that far, check out royalty-free music services like Epidemic Sound or Artlist, or Creative Commons libraries like Music Free Archive and Freesound. Now you've got your episode recorded and ready to go, how did you get it out into the world? When it comes to naming your podcast, make sure it's something that will attract your intended audience. Artwork. Find an image or use it as a chance to collaborate with an artist to do a caricature or give your podcast a different feel. Headline tagline. Something attractive and searchable. As we mentioned earlier, write a clear description of what listeners can expect so your podcast can be found easily if people are searching for that topic. Including the names of guests in the episode description can also attract more listeners. First up, you'll need to upload an MP3 or M4A file of your podcast to a hosting platform. 
Some of the bigger podcast hosts include SoundCloud, Wooshka, Libsyn, Omni, and Buzzsprout. Some are free and others have a monthly fee. A podcast host creates something called an RSS feed, which updates every time you post a new episode. Once you've done that, you'll need to submit your podcast feed to different platforms like Apple Podcasts, Spotify, Stitcher, Google Podcasts, and more. Plan ahead and be patient because this can take at least a couple of days. Once it's been accepted onto those podcast platforms, your podcast can be found and shared by podcast apps on your listener's smartphone. Once it's out there in the world, it's time to promote it and build up a listenership. Check out our previous video, Promoting Your Art with Social Media, for tips on getting your episodes and attention. Congratulations, you are now officially a podcaster. Now that you're up and running, here are a few things to consider for the future. A schedule. Map out how often you're going to release an episode and what subjects or guests the future episodes will feature. Consistency is important, so decide on what kind of frequency you can realistically stick to. Consider staying at least a couple of episodes ahead, so you're not always rushing to make the next one. And plan when you'll take breaks. Podcast artwork. This is like your brand. Create something eye-catching that encapsulates the flavour of your podcast. Upskilling. Refine your equipment, your speaking skills, your editing skills. Anything that can sharpen up your podcast. Attend podcast festivals. These are great learning hubs. Monetizing. There are new models popping up all the time to support podcasts. Apple have a new subscription model, and companies like Audible and Spotify commission new podcasts. There's also advertising and endorsements to consider if you get a big enough audience. Figure out if it's important to you, and if so, come up with a long-term strategy for making bank. So that was a basic intro into starting a podcast. So go forth, hit record, and have fun.